around the world. Miracles Today with David E. Taylor. The greatest movement to ever hit the earth is now here. The Father God and Jesus, His Son, coming down on the earth and appearing notably in the sight of millions, working with David E. Taylor in the 21st century, like they did in biblical times, as captured on the news. The hand of God looked like an outstretched hand. It looked like a face appeared in the clouds. This is incredible. This is the ancient biblical ministry of face to face that hasn't been seen since the days of Moses and Jesus Christ, causing deliverance on a massive scale. It all started when David E. Taylor was just 17 years old, living as a gangster. The Lord Jesus appeared to him, and from there, it mushroomed into a global movement and ministry that is now changing the world. It's not a revival, it's a revolution. A new revolution of unprecedented signs and wonders that has not been seen since biblical days. The biggest healing miracle movement in the 21st century. The eight billion soul harvest. Preaching the gospel of the kingdom in every nation, making disciples of all men, one soul at a time. This is incredible. Experience the dead being raised. Critical condition tonight after a shooting outside a Georgia restaurant. How many of you heard about this year of NFL Super Bowl? A young man was shot point blank for rooting for the 49er. It was national news. This is the young man. Oh! Four people had already died around him. The doctor said, Chris is not going to make it. The young man went into a coma and died for 20 minutes. And they said never in the history of the hospital had they lost four patients with a fifth expected. I text Apostle Taylor. He said, Chris is not going to die. He's going to live. This was a resurrection. Yes, it was. You shot me twice. As here it is a year later, and I'm standing before you. Your dead can be raised! My cousin had just dropped down dead while taking a shower, and I'd seen the Lord use David E. Taylor to raise the dead. I sent him a text, and he sent me a text and said the Lord told him only two words to say, and that was, get up. And shortly after Apostle released the command, my cousin was raised from the dead. Experience Jesus appearing face to face like millions of others have. I saw Jesus. I was born and raised Muslim. I read the book face to face. Jesus appeared to us. We felt so much peace. We felt so much love. Jesus saved me. I was brought up as a Hindu worshiping idols. And as I began reading the book, I had my first encounter with Jesus. Jesus Christ personally working with David E. Taylor, captured on photo. I could see when people come up, he would touch them and they would just drop under the power of God. You will see Jesus through the life and face-to-face -face ministry of David E. Taylor, deepening your intimacy and walk with the Lord. Experience the miracles. In Jesus' name, put those legs up and down. What is impossible with men is possible with God today. Satan has lost his grip over this region. This is her cane. I was very skeptical. What happened? I'd had so much pain in my body for 50 years from arthritis. And all the pain left? Yes. But oh, there it is. Woo! Give the Lord a shout out. Robert's been in a wheelchair for a full year. This is your first time getting out of the wheelchair like this in a year. Yeah. He couldn't do this. No. was in a wheelchair. Doctor says he cannot walk on his heels. He broke what happened? He's walking. But you at one time didn't believe in God. Yes, I did. I used to curse God. God, I will obey from this point on to anything you say. I... God, there is a God. If you came in here with a cane, a crutch, or a cancer, you're going to leave without it. And he could not walk. They're going to amputate. Yes. And Jesus gave you a miracle. Yes. And he is now walking in a... tumor back of her head. I said, Mommy, it's gone. It's not there no more. Jesus, thank you so much. I don't know what just happened to me, but it felt so good. Face to face. Miracles. Today, 
Join us now for the face-to-face Miracles Today broadcast with David E. Taylor that has started a revolution in America and around the world. Welcome to Miracles Today broadcast. Let me tell you something. Jesus is Lord today. It says, God who anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that was oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. You see, the Bible calls sickness oppression from the devil. He says, I am the Lord thy God that healeth thee. Precious one, I don't care what sickness you've had. I don't care how long you've had it. He loves you so much. He wants to heal you today. It don't matter what you have. He wants to heal you today. He says, I am the Lord thy God that healeth thee. You know, there's also a promise in God's word that says, I will restore health unto thee. You see, God wants to restore healing to your body. He wants to restore healthiness to your body. Wherever the devil's trying to break your body down, God wants to restore you. We're about to see God do mighty things. I want you to know he loves you. He cares about you. There's nothing you can go through that he does not see. He knows your down sitting. David says he knows my down sitting and my uprising. He's acquainted with all my ways. I want you to know he is acquainted with all your ways. He knows your down sitting, your uprising. He knows the very number of hairs on your head. You see, don't ever be discouraged. Depression is a work of the devil. You understand that? Have faith today. Come alive today. Know that God has something in your future so great today. And we're excited. Joseph, what, what do you think about what God is doing and how you've seen how God moved in these miracle yes. crusades? Mm-hmm. It's amazing because you can, when you walk in these uh, crusades, you literally feel the compassion and the love of mm-hmm. our Lord Jesus Christ just flowing mm-hmm. over the people. And like it says in the scriptures, he was moved with compassion, mm-hmm. healing the multitudes. We see that here at these crusades, wherever you hold them around the world, Jesus literally walking in. And like the, the, the person that was touched with, uh, with the screw in the, in the foot, this person literally felt their leg begin to twist. And wow. said so someone's hand came on their ankle and it they began felt to twist. a hand. Literally. I didn't hear that part of it. Yes, I just sir. know that they that screw turned into a bone. Yes. And they did. were completely healed. Completely Amen. healed. But they felt the hand of the Lord on them. Yes. They How felt amazing. Physically on their foot. Twist their foot. And the screw that was popping out of their of their of their foot literally disappeared. Wow. And amazing. she could no longer feel. And, and what's amazing is the children that come, their parents bring them that are sick. Like mm-hmm. that one precious girl at the cancer crusade. Yes. Who, she was being made fun of by her classmates because she couldn't right. walk. And she walked for the first time. She was brought here by her grandma. And just the tears that came from her eyes, mm-hmm. I know everybody was touched by that. It's amazing to see these miracles. I'm telling you, every time we see them, we're never callous. It mm-hmm. is amazing. And that's why I'm here to let you know He wants to give you miracles today, too. He loves you today. He wants to show you his power today. Anyway, no matter what has happened in your life. You see, the devil will tell you, God don't want to do anything good for you. But see, God is a good God. He wants to do mighty things for you. And I'm going to tell you something. He has mighty things for you today. Believe him today. Believe him today. Now, listen. We want to go into this service, and I'm going to be back to pray for you. Watch this. We are standing in your presence, Jesus. We are standing in your glory.
have miracles happen right here in this prayer. miracles are starting to happen and I knew this was the place where your love abides we are standing in the presence of Jehovah God Almighty we are standing Jesus has just walked in. Lift your hands. He's here. I see him walking among you. And Lord, I command every demon of sickness. I command every demon of disease. You demon of cancer. You spirit of death. You spirit of sickness and disease. I command you in the name of whom I serve. I command you, let the bodies of the people here in this room. That's right, you that are watching my live stream, put your hands on your body. Let the people in their homes, you devil of cancer, you spirit of sickness, I command you in the name of whom I serve. As a king, I command you. Let the bodies of the people in this room, let the bodies of the people in their homes, go! Go! Now! Lift your hands, the double of infirmity has been broken. Lift your voice with a shout and we see miracles are happening here. Lift your voice. Receive your miracle. 
another shoulder condition on my right is being healed I give you praise another back condition is being healed I give you praise yes Lord another knee condition is being healed I give you praise that's right somebody on the left you have sickle cell I rebuke the devil of sickle cell anemia quickly get out of your seat line up to my left and right tell me what just happened quickly get out of your seat now obey the Holy Ghost what happened here, Joseph? Yes, sir, this is Dennis, and he came in tonight with herniated disc, and he had such pain in his back for 15 years. He says tonight he felt the warmth of God go through him, and that pain is gone. You felt God's heat go through you. What happened? Uh, earlier when I was sitting there, I felt a fire go down my head, and then all the way down my back. And no more pain? No. So you know this is real, don't you? It is real. I've never met you before. No. But I see an anointing on you. Do something you couldn't do. Wow. What, what, what did you say? I said, just that was very painful. It's very painful. Do it again. People give the Lord a shout of praise. <laughs> Touch. That's power. What happened here? Martha had a knot on the back of her uh, sciatic nerve, like you had called out earlier, lower back. But a tonight, knot. Yes, sir. That's right. I saw that. And she said she just felt the power of God go through her. She threw down that cane. You came, you came with the cane. What happened? It just stopped hurting. I was standing over there washing and the pain left. And you had a knot on your back? Yeah, on the lower part of my back. And the doctors kept telling me, I've been going to the chiropractor, and um, the pain leave come right back. And I was hurting down both legs, and I'm not hurting now. When you came in, you were hurting down both of your legs? Yes, yes. Feel and see if that knot is there. Is it gone? I don't feel it. Oh my God. It's gone. It's gone because when you touch it, you could. When I touched it before, I could feel it. I don't have no pain. People, give Jesus a shout out. Pick those legs up. Pick them up. Pick them up and turn around and run down that way. Do something you couldn't do. Look at that. People, come on, people, what are you way. Huh? I couldn't run before. <laughs> you couldn't run? No, I, I, you know. But Jesus healed you. Yeah. Give the Lord a shout of praise. What happened here, Joseph? Yes, sir. This is prophetess Cindy. She had pain in her feet, but she felt the fire of God touch her feet. Now she can move her feet without any pain. No pain. No pain. Do it. Do it. Do it. Move your feet. No more pain me as though it was like a sign of the enemy trying to put the attack of diabetes because I do know of one person in my family that has it and so what happened tonight what did you feel go through you? well I was feeling the pain and when you were saying that to receive from the Lord I did just that and all of a sudden I didn't feel the pain anymore all the pain just all the pain just left people give the Lord a shout oh there <laughs> now let's believe today for victory Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everyone watching this broadcast. I pray for every single citizen in the U.S. and all around the world. I thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit. I release the power of the Holy Spirit on those watching today in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for the overflow of the joy of the Holy Ghost. And then I rebuke all manner of sickness and disease. I rebuke all manner of sickness in the name of Jesus. Lord, I release your kingdom in the name of Jesus. I thank you for your power in the name of Jesus. I give you praise for what you're going to do in the name of Jesus. I thank you for all witchcraft being broken in the name of Jesus. We thank you for breaking the spirit of homosexuality in America in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the demon power of human slave trafficking girls being sold into human slave trafficking, being broken in Jesus' name. The spirit of addictions are being broken today. Addictions with casinos, addiction with drugs, in Jesus' name. We break your power, Satan in Jesus' name, over the lives of people. I see the spirit of witchcraft coming down in America. The strong man, in Jesus' name, I rebuke witchcraft in Jesus' name. We command your power to cease now. God, I give you praise.
for these princes coming down in our country. Demonic principalities are coming down in Jesus' name now. Lord, I thank you for every other principality that's trying to rear its head in America and around the world. We break your power in Jesus' name. We thank you for your miracles. I release regional transformation. I pray for pastors that are watching this, leaders, Lord God, who are looking for a revival, a move of God to hit their region, hit their churches. We release with the keys of the kingdom, a move of God to hit their church, hit their cities. God, don't let this revival hit their church. Let a move of God hit their cities in Jesus' name. We break demonic powers over their cities so that a move of God can happen. I loose it in Jesus' name. And Lord, we pray over these handkerchiefs. We pray, Lord God, that you are safe, that you are touch in the name of Jesus. Lord, as these go out all around the world, as the people call that 1877 number, God, I pray that this will go out all over the world. Touch those watching as this enter their homes, save their children, heal their bodies. Let diseases leave in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord God, that miracles shall happen through this miracle handkerchief all of these handkerchiefs that shall go around the world in Jesus' name. Beloved, until next time, this is your friend David E. Taylor with Miracles Today. Believe them, expect miracles today because they are coming your way with power. Until next time, bye-bye. It was during the Christmas season. I was 17 years old when it first happened. Jesus appeared to me in a dream and it changed my life forever. And he told me if I wrote this in a book that he would appear to millions all over the world. And it's happening now. I literally felt Jesus touch me. He came to me and delivered me I that night. I was brought up as a Hindu. I began reading the book. I had my first encounter with the Lord. I was born Muslim and I read the book. Jesus appeared to us. Just like the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream, Jesus will appear to you in your dreams. Jesus appearing to David E. Taylor. Birth the Global Miracle Ministry. And God the Father coming down on earth. Working with David E. Taylor. Just like he prophesied. Resulting in the massive deliverance of children from human slave trafficking. When you read this book, Jesus promises to visit you. Your intimacy will deepen. The Face to Face book retails for $20. But call and get your copy now for only $15. Call 1-877-THE-GLORY. God speaks in five or more different languages. Dreams is one of them. You must know the power of a dream. Dreaming. What is God saying to you? Dreams. Your future revealed. Thomas Edison. God gave him a dream of the light bulb. Albert Einstein. E equals MC squared. Discovered the scientific breakthrough that solves many mathematical problems. The winner of Miss Universe revealed in a dream by God. Your mom dreamed that mm -hmm. you would be Miss Universe. I was about 13 years old. And then she said, honey, I had a dream that you won Miss Universe in a red dress. But you <laughs> did, you won Miss <laughs> Universe in a red dress. Way. For God speaketh once, yea, twice, in a dream, in a vision of the night. If you seek understanding about your dreams, don't hesitate to call in now for guidance. For a limited time, you can get an exclusive message on dreams by David E. Taylor, usually priced at $20 for only $15. When you order now, you will also receive a free anointed prayer cloth. I prayed over these handkerchiefs because the Bible says God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul that from his body was sent to the sick handkerchiefs and apron and diseases departed from their bodies and demons and unclean spirits departed from them. Call today, David E. Taylor's 24-7 Prayer and Dream Interpretation Line, 877-843-4567. The twister churning through the night sky, flattening a candle factory. Listen, listen now, we are trapped. The deadliest tornado event we have ever had. What are the biggest needs in this area right now? Water and food. This is why God has told me to do the convoy of miracles, that when disaster hits, we are there. When I hit my knees, the wind, I mean, it just tore the, the roof and they dug me out. And all I can say is Jesus is going to send us some help. You guys have come miles and miles to come down here to show your love.
the convoy of miracles, spearheaded by David E. Taylor and his covenant partners, offers a beacon of hope in the face of disaster and the warmth of giving during the holidays. When Hurricane Ian hit, Apostle Taylor sent relief to help many in need. This is just the beginning of the Convoy of Miracles outreach in Florida. 2,000 cars showed up and over 5,000 people came out as cars pulled up, needing genuine help as Hurricane Ian caused significant damage in Daytona Beach, Florida. Convoy of Miracles, what a blessing that you guys Thank are. Thank you, Apostle David Taylor. This is a huge blessing. I appreciate everything. Thank you so much. Thank you for these blessings. It's a blessing that everybody's uh, come together and doing stuff for helping us. Awesome. And when he reach out, an uh, outreach minister like his gang up. We appreciate everything that y'all doing for us. It's a blessing and, and thank you. Oh, tell him I said thank you. And I want you to help me to finish the 18 wheeler trucks projects. We are still in need of $2.5 million to fulfill God's vision and build the rest of the convoy of miracle trucks. 10 trucks will be used to bring clothes, food, hygiene products, and supplies to the masses. There will also be five special trailers to meet people's needs. The shower trailer will be able to give the people a clean shower from being on the street. The barbershop trailer is where the men will get their haircuts and the women will get their hair done in this salon. The hot food truck will serve nutritious hot meals daily. The medical truck will do free health inspections, providing treatment and medicine for the sick. The office truck will be used to administratively serve those in need and work to find proper housing for each person and family. There is more exciting news. Apostle Taylor is also getting the help of his covenant friends and partners to get AC-17 aircraft to be able to expand the convoy of miracles overseas to help the precious people of other nations when disaster or famine strikes with food water, nourishment, medical supplies, and essentials. Partner now with David E. Taylor to bring supplies, comfort, and relief to hurting families all across America. Call now 